Hello my dear beautiful bastards and welcome to the Inner Sea. This is an open world RPG pirate game. Sorta, kinda. So let's go into a new one. So, a new expedition. Months have passed since your last expedition. After such a large period of idleness, the crew is anxious and fidgety, longing to be underway and once more brave the vastness of the open seas. The weather is changing and the winds are becoming more favorable. The time has come for you to outfit your fleet and prepare to set sail once again. Where do you hail from? The Old Continent, from the enterprising lands of the Old Continent, where the caravel braves the fierce storms of the Atlantic. Cathay, from the imperial lands of Cathay, bathed by the four seas, where the junk has been used for millennia. And Arabia, from the endless deserts of Arabia given life by the Red Sea and sailed by the Sambuk. So the Old Continent, the Cathay is a little bit different, and the Arabia is also a little bit different. As you can see, all three different types of locations have different stats, different amounts of guns, speed, hull durability, sails durability, crew, cargo, gold, and skill. So, we have a lot of guns, the hull durability is good for the old continent, but speed is low, this speed is even lower, so basically the best thing to go with, I think, is the old continent, because after all, I am myself from the old continent, you know, from from Europe, from the Roman, from the Roman locations, I think, or is the Cathay my uh, location? I don't know, the old continent. We're, we're gonna go with the old continent. How to out outfit your ship? We have the balanced, or mostly cargo, or mostly crew. So, if we go with the cargo, then we're probably gonna do a lot of... Uh, a lot of trading, a lot of that type of stuff. Mostly crew is probably a lot of fights and stuff. I'm gonna go with balanced. I'm gonna go with balanced because I think that is the best because you wanna do everything all the time. Who is your sponsor? The king. As an envoy of the king, you're used to achieving your goals and those of the king using your diplomatic skills. The merchant guild. Your connections to the merchant's guild provides you with deep insight into the trade policies and a military order. As members of a military order, your crew is specially trained in the skills of melee combat. I don't like the king's stuff because I want to do stuff that I, wa I want to do, not what the king wants. And military order is kinda focused on military quite a bit, so... The, mer the Merchant's Guild, I think it's it's best because then we can trade a lot, you know, get a lot of stuff. So if you have a lot of stuff on your ship, then you can be stronger in military. Regardless, uh, you know, if you're not uh, focused on military, you can have a strong military if you have strong stuff on your boat. So we're going to go with that. Uh, since we are going to be trading a lot, it's a peaceful color, the blue one. And coat of arms. Coat of arms is going to be... The sun. Yes, we are going to be men of the sun. Of the sun. Men of sun. Men of sun. Yes, men of sun. Let's begin our campaign. Yeah. So, once you get into the game, please get into the game now so I can continue. Oh, after the storm, you were sailing through uncharted waters when suddenly you were caught in a violent squall, the like of which your crew had never seen before. After days of facing roaring winds, incessant rains and monstrous waves, the sea finally quiets down and you realize you're in the eye of the storm. Strangely enough, the waters here seem untouched by the raging gale, but you can still see over the horizon. So, here we are, and you can control your little boat by dragging. See, you can drag a line and then the boat goes. You can also speed up the time. When you zoom out, this is the map. So, it's a very, it's a very stylish map. Because it's like on a table, you know, so you're like playing <laughs> playing in an interactive map on the table. And that is very cool. I like that very much. So, see, you can constantly change the path. You can go all over the place. So we need to find our first uh, city. There we go, the first city. So, when, you're, when we're over here, we can right-click and we can get into the city. El Buf! The Norman town of El Bouf has seen better days, so the city itself is kind of shitty. They have 100 gold, they have the governor. Uh, rumors of you, not a single one of them is good. Well, thank you very much. Let's see. You come at the most convenient time. I would like for you to deliver this parcel together with this letter to the governor of Tel Kepe. Let's do it, why not? Thank you. So we have the tavern. Heard any rumors? Nothing much. I see. Knew of any skilled shipmates willing to join my crew? I could point you in the right direction if it's worth something to you. 
Then it is, my friend. Here's 37 gold to stimulate your memory. So we can bribe him, and then he can give us uh, some crew members. Let's do it. There are three scoundrels in the back room. They're passed out drunk, so just take them. They're in for a surprise when they wake up in the high seas. <laughs> nice. Three new members for 37 gold. For the trader, here we are. So we can buy and sell stuff. So we have some metals and honey. Honey is something that we don't need. So we can sell it. We can sell the honey. Not all, just a little bit. Furs as well. We can sell it. And maybe something else. Incense. What the hell is incense? Is that like the product of incest? Incense? No, that doesn't sound right. But we're gonna sell some of it anyway. Let's do that. So we have some some gold, which means that we can buy stuff. We're gonna buy some wood. Let's buy five tons of wood, or maybe six tons of wood. And six tons of stone. Yes. And maybe fish. No, fish, we can, we can catch some fish. Cattle, honey, cloth. We could use some cloth, maybe three cloth. Yes, three cloth. And maybe some grog to keep them happy. Five tons of grog. Five tons of grog, that's gonna last quite a bit. <laughs> that should be enough. Shipwright. So, shipwright, man of sun, so we can upgrade the ship. Increasing the amount of damage the ship can take, both its hull and sails. So, we can upgrade both. Yes, excellent. We upgraded both, so our man of sun ship is quite, quite strong now. So we can carry on. We are on the edge of the map, so we can go over here and try to find something. The game is quite interesting. You know, it for some reason it's, 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 it's unique in a way. And we can go over here and catch some fish. Let's go catch some fish. Thank you very much. There you go. Plus three fish. We can also attack other ships, but I'm not gonna attack the ship unless I really have to because if I lose my ship then uh, shit's gonna be bad, so it's better to just, you know, roam around and try to do deals for others and potentially upgrade the ship to the point where it's gonna be difficult to get it killed, get it destroyed. The combat itself of the game is it's kinda interesting, it's not that bad. If you're interested in combat then you can Take that approach, but still you need to prepare yourself. You can't really do K of turtles. Let's see. Maybe maybe these guys have something. Wait. They don't have anything. Oh, this is a pirate town. Can I do something in a pirate town? Can I attack them? That would be interesting. Because I don't really know. Can you do anything in a pirate town? It doesn't look like you can. Yeah. You can't really do anything in a pirate town. At least not yet. Maybe. Walrus. Let's go catch some walruses. Walrus eye. Wait, what's the... Oh, ivory. Thank you very much. I, that's kind of illegal, right? Catching ivory from walrus eye. Walruses. What's the plural of walrus? I, I don't actually know. I have no idea. Let's see. Oh, what have we found? Something that we can't interact with, so fuck that. We can't interact with any of this shit. Oh, there's a pirate ship. Pirate ship sailing. We're gonna ignore that. So I guess we have the goal of carrying some stuff to someone else. So where is that person? That person is over here. So we can travel all the way there. Hopefully we won't get attacked by some pirates or something. I'm not really sure. Can you get attacked by pirates? Oh, pressing the right mouse button over a ship that's adrift will bring up the context menu. You can choose to board or sink any adrift ship. Where did it go? It sank. We can board this ship. Okay, I can plunder it. Take all. Take it. And I would like to keep her. Wait, we can't control this many ships. Ah, I don't have... My crew is not big enough. So I can't really do anything. Oh, what is this? Hemp sails. Coarser than linen. They're also more resistant to wear and tear. Thank you. It is very nice. That is beautiful. Oh, we can also do this. What the hell is this? This is like a free camera. Huh. Interesting. Oh, what do we have here? Another city. Let's see. Maybe they have some quests for us. The city of Al Halania. Al Halania. Governor is a woman. 
The city has been the target of countless attacks by the notorious pirate ship Kai Ping. We've had enough, if you're able to take care of them, we'll reward you handsomely. Ship right, I can't upgrade. I cannot upgrade. Do I? Wait, maybe I need... I kinda, I kinda want more people. And I kinda want another ship before I get to attacking others. Uh, headed to Kindao wage war on the Kin. Huh? So, I need to find Queen Dao and maybe fight there. Queen Dao. Okay. We're gonna go and try try to find Queen Dao. So wait, we have one uh, one quest over here. So let's go complete that quest first. Yes, I want to complete that quest first before doing anything else. So we're gonna see what happens. Here we are. Tel Kepe. The Caliphate capital of Tel Kepe is brimming with wealth. The delivery of package. I've been expecting here you go for your timely delivery. How much did I get? 100 gold. Oh, nice. Thank you very much. Uh, pending tasks. A personal enemy of mine has been flaunting his new flagship. We can't really have that. I'd like you to go and capture his new toy and bring it to me. Flagship, so I need to capture it. Alright, alright, I'm gonna do that. They left from Zhu, Zhu, Zhu Cheng. I believe they were on their way to the city of Jining. Alright, thank you very much. Tavern, heard any rumors? Nothing much happening lately, so he's useless. Useless bastard. Maybe we can get something over here. Wait, shipwright? Can I upgrade? Can't fully really upgrade with anything. Have the cotton sails. Yeah. Can't really do anything over here, so we need to find more cities. So there is a... There is a ship over here, and we need to get, so let's go get that ship. Let's go fight. Let me show you the, the battles. The battles of of this world. What is this? Oh, fort. Oh, that's so cute. Look at the little forty fort. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful little fort. There's more walrus eye. We're not gonna deal with them. Go find this bastard and go murder him. Murder the bitch. It would be cool if the the slow the slowdown and the speed up is a little bit faster and slower, I guess. That would be interesting. Fleet manager. So, this is the fleet manager. Uh, we have the skills that we can... Wait, do I have... Oh, I actually have points. I have points. Nice. So, I can get this. I can get another ship. Ah. Okay, okay, okay. That's my bad. That's my bad. I'm sorry. So, these are the blueprints. We just have these blueprints. I'm gonna need to find more blueprints in order to, to do more stuff. The diplomacy with others is kind of shitty, so I can't really do much there. So, here is the ship. Here is the ship. So, we can attack him. We can attack... No, please. Come on. Okay, we need to go over here and then attack. Attack him. Attack the bastard. There you go. While in combat, you can press the shift key to display the ship's gun range. See, this is the gun range. If your opponents prove too strong, you can always retreat by trying to move away from all adversaries. The only ship you control is your flagship. Any other ship in your fleet will take care of itself. See, so if I have like 78 ships, then I will be able to control only one ship. And all other ships in my fleet will control themselves. So they are actually stronger. There's 44 of them. Which means that attacking them is probably a very, very bad idea. So we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. We're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do that. Run away. Run away, please. Get away from them. Get away from them. Attacking them is a very, very bad idea. So we're not gonna do that. Please leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Oh, shit. Don't. Don't. The game is coming out in early access tomorrow, just so you know. So if you are interested... Get over here. Are they following me? They are kind of following me, but they're lagging behind, so we should be fine. So, I am not going to be attacking them for now. I'm gonna need to get another ship and more crew members. Which means that I need to visit more cities and get more uh, stuff done. Upgrade the ship a bit more, I guess. And that is probably going to, going to help my case of getting that ship to myself. But yeah, I'm going to end it here little quick video about this this little game 
It is coming in early access, so you can feel free to check it out and possibly support it, maybe even play it. It is interesting and it functions relatively, relatively well so far. I have not seen any issues with it. The camera is a bit... Uh, I would like it to be a bit more smooth. You know, it's not as smooth as it could be. But the game itself is kind of nice. It's perfectly... It's perfectly acceptable for an early access game, considering the standard of most early access games that are completely shit. This one is actually awesome and unique, because you won't find a lot of games of this type anywhere. Make this ship the fleet's flagship. Oh, so wait. Do I control? I control only the flagship. Ah, so if I have like 78 ships, then I can go into the fleet manager and change the flagship each time I give commands to the ships, right? Is that possible? Isn't that a little bit tedious? Uh, I'm not really sure. I don't know. But uh, this is the beginning of the game, so if you are liking it, feel free to go check it out on Steam. If you're not liking it, oh well, there's plenty of other games. But that would be all, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the Inner Sea and the Men of Sun fleet. Oh, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. We're gonna achieve so much. I'm, I'm gonna be playing more of this game if you guys want me to, so I'm gonna put up a poll and I'm gonna ask for your comments if you guys want more of this game. If you do, I will play more of it. If not, then I'm gonna check it out once it fully releases. So... Thank you very much for watching, I have been Petard, your glorious lord, and may the blessings of Petard eternally touch your butt.